Daniel Jones, which overall, oh, Daniel Jones, right? 63% completion, 6.7 yards per attempt. He's thrown three picks, only two passing touchdowns on the season. And you're thinking to yourself, well, Bradley, what about the rushing? What about the rushing? And Daniel Jones does have 102 rushing yards on the season. He has a touchdown, but he has two fumbles as well. Yards after contact per attempt, 1.68 for Daniel Jones. Compare that to Barkley. Barkley has nearly doubled that. Yikes. So Daniel Jones as a quarterback, I think obviously we're fading Daniel Jones. I think he's you know, outside of our top 15 of quarterbacks for this week. He gets the San Francisco 49ers. He lost an offensive lineman. He lost Saquon Barkley. So I think that Daniel Jones <clears throat> is a player that, like, obviously big plays can happen, and we can talk about some of the wide receivers that could be very could be interesting, a deep cuts in your lineup as we're moving forward. But I'd be looking for other streaming options for Daniel Jones. There are better streamers out there. I know some leagues, a couple leagues, still have Kirk Cousins available, as crazy as that sounds. You should be playing Kirk Cousins very easily over Daniel Jones. The Vikings are passing at uh, an historic rate, 78% pass rate. 78%. I looked through the last 13 years, and that's the highest rate of pass by 10%. <laughs> now, two games is a small sample size, but you've got to like what you're seeing from the Minnesota Vikings and how the pass volume is elevating Kirk Cousins. So let's take a look here at a few things about Daniel Jones. As I said, not very impressive overall. Jones, 63% completion is, is mediocre, right? It's in the bottom half of quarterbacks. His passing grade <clears throat> is much better. Middle of the pack, nothing crazy. But the turnover... Worthy plays. Yeah, Daniel Jones, 15th. He's averaging a 3.3% turnover worthy play rate. The The mistakes are there, and it's costing the Giants. We haven't seen a get-right game, and against the San Francisco 49ers, traveling to San Francisco on a short week, it's just a recipe for disaster for Daniel Jones. So, obviously, like these are professional athletes. These are NFL players. But if there's a pathway for Daniel Jones to be, you know, a top 10 fantasy quarterback, it's not going to be this week. Daniel Jones right now is quarterback 28 in fantasy points per game. <clears throat> yes, he had 31 this past game against Arizona, but he was against Arizona, y'all. Arizona. He had two passing touchdowns. He had a rushing touchdown. And if you're not crushing against Arizona, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, so 18, 19 fantasy points per game. <clears throat> That's not going to get it done against a tough, tough defense. Like, we're going from Arizona cakewalk to San Francisco. He's going to be under pressure all night. And just for kicks and giggles, let's take a look at his passing pressure grades, Daniel Jones. Oh boy. Are you ready? Daniel Jones, a 43 pass grade under pressure. He's 26th out of 33 qualified quarterbacks in PFF pass grade while under pressure. It's just very bad. He's <laughs> just bad. And with an even worse offensive line now and no Saquon as a trusty a player out of the backfield. Daniel Jones is a fade this week. I don't see how you can start him comfortably in 10 or 12 le team leagues.